finally I got this to work. So good morning everybody and welcome to Mask Monday with the Beauty Ninjas. This week it's Kizzy's turn and I did read the instructions because it's a two piece set and I got it all, everything I need prepared except for wetting my face because I didn't, I forgot that I have to wet my face. So this morning, this is, I had just woke up. I like not done nothing. I haven't even brushed my hair yet. But this morning, I've gotten up, drank my coffee, and brushed my teeth because that's what, that's, I have to do that before I do anything else. And then, you know, I like took care of the dogs, took the trash out, got the food in the oven and all that crap. But, um, oh. so I'm going to use the headband Renee gave me. And it's a charcoal mask and it's a self heating mask. And it's a, a one minute mask. Ah. So I did, I did get a tool not too long ago from Becky. Becky's Empty Nest. Thank you, Becky. So I'm going to use that. Okay, so this is the pour kit. And it's weird because it says put it around your nose area. Am I right or am I wrong? Anyways, I'm going to do the nose one first. Let me see. Uh, thoroughly wet your nose or it will not stick. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use some setting spray. Well, it's not setting spray. It's facial mist feels really good because in the morning normally I put some stuff on my face oh uh, let me go ahead and tell you that Tracy is very grateful he does not have Instagram but he was very touched by the sweet comments you guys left after his accident the baby's doing okay but it, I'm telling you it does it does put you in a in a shock because you see ah uh, could have been gone you know okay so <laughs> it looks like a mustache okay I'm just gonna leave this on for a few minutes just for okay the fact that I busted my nose at work I was cleaning something off of a top shelf so I reached up to get it and then someone threw something on top of it I hate it at retail when people cannot put their shit back where it belongs and they put it on top of whatever I was grabbing I think it was like mailers and I grabbed it and it thing flew right in my face and even though it's just a little bump and a little bruise that that tiny little spot there was blood everywhere <laughs> my boss was like are you okay and I said I will be in a second let me go clean up and that was it it was fine so um let me see and then okay let me spray some more because you have to have spray for this too Uh, where does it say to open it? Uh, it doesn't, but there's a little piece right here. There's not a lot in here. I had gotten one a while back from the same company. It's a blue clay one, but I haven't used it yet. Okay. And it says to wash off. Oh, it is hot. That's weird. Like the second you put it on there, it's like really warm. That's weird. Okay. Feels good though. That's this is cool. I like this. Let's see if I get more out from my forehead. Well, why this is going on? Gonna show you guys just a few of my empties. Oh, I can't wait to take it off though, because I, I didn't put my morning moisturizer on. I didn't want to interfere with this here, so. Okay. Thanks, Kizzy. This is a really cool one. I like it. I, I like it because, well, first off, it's something different than the sheet mask, sheet mask, sheet mask. I like all kinds of masks. To me, the crazier, the better. 
I can't wait to try next week's because it is a sheet mask, but it's a special one. And we've been hanging on for this for a while, and a lot of us were nervous to do it. I'm not, but you all have to see that in the next week's video. Okay, so put that there. And let me show you some of my empties, okay? So when I first got my first vaccine, we had to sit in the store. It's like a 45-minute drive from where I'm at. Um, and so I was like, let me go get a nice shampoo. I got this Coconut Latte Real Raw Shampoo The shampoo the an energized and nourishes shampoo a wake up limp lifeless hair with a nourishing blend of coconut milk um it has protein electrolytes and sulfates when i think of electrolytes i think about food okay so uh this i can't really see what company it's from but this is what it looks like and it was ten dollars and i really liked it i mean it's a thick ass shampoo but um and i needed a lot before i got my hair cut but after i got my hair cut this this went off went on uh i didn't need a lot but it's gone it took me about a month and a half yeah so there's that one in the trash then i showed you guys that i had gotten a wet and wild little perfume roller from the dollar tree i didn't know that they made perfume rollers or perfume this sucked this was nothing but alcohol to me with a little bit of fragrance that flew away the minute you put it on and when you roll it i mean i appreciate that a lot comes out when it rolls but it's like you might as well just spray yourself with straight alcohol so no that's a no-go okay here we go with velvet 59 these are the chocolate drops i had gotten these gifted to me from rich lux and um i use every single bit of it and i love it i absolutely i used to put it on with primer like two drops and primer in my hand and i put it on my face it took me about a year and a half to use the whole oil drops um but you have to give it time to soak in because it is thick um but this is really 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 good so i might buy this again I don't know. It's hard to say goodbye to you because I love you so much. Look at it. so cute with the little swans on it. Okay, so next off we have um, something. I didn't use everything from it, but this is from the Dollar Tree, the gold face mask. Now, I do have a gold sheet mask, um, and I'm hoping that it's better. I, I think it's different, too. It's from the same company, but I'm more interested to use the sheet mask from this than this um, because this kind of dried me out and I have regular skin not to bad the person that gave it to me but it's just some things work better for others all right next I have <clears throat> that's not an empty Clarins this is um, instant smooth perfecting touch this was a primer i got everything out of that bitch this is good i might i think i will buy this again um along with i don't know i got this in a box this is i think i got this when i had boxy charm um along with the elf putty primer i will definitely buy this again because i can get it at my local walmart and i think this was eight dollars yeah eight doll hairs and i used it all love it so much and i will definitely use this again but i used the velvet 59 either with this one or this one and um i really like those a lot we're getting closer y'all we're getting closer oh there's something i've been looking for it must have fell in there there we go okay then i this is a covergirl age rewind I used to use this a lot and I liked it a lot because it wasn't drying my skin out like some foundations do. But I, I noticed that it started, it, it makes, it's kind of oily so it does leave creases. It will crease up in the lines and nah, I think I have, my skin has changed I guess and I'll just have to use it or something. Oh look, matches my nail polish to the T anyways yeah this you can get this at a uh, regular drugstore and I think this was like eight dollars or something and I had it for about 
a year and a half. I guess that's not the, the, the thing with me. A year and a half, a year and a half. Okay. So, this is the Coca Cabana cream. Still smells like it. And I'm going to tell you something. I love it so much, along with the Bum Bum cream. I bought both of these about half a year ago. And um, I love it. I love how my face fit. Uh, not my face. I don't put it on my face. I don't put those kind of creams in my face because I have a lot of perfume in it. But I do put it all over my body. And when I do use it, Tracy's all over me. He's like, oh, you smell good. To me, it reminds me of vacation, you know. Oh, she smells wonderful. I love it. If, you, if you're a coconut lover, this one's really good. Now, the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream is really good, too. It doesn't really, uh, it says it lifts and, and all that stuff. No, it doesn't. Um, believe me, I've been using it long enough to know that it doesn't lift. But it's still, it's, it is moisturizing, and it does feel really good, and it does make you smell scrumptious. So, let's take this off. I'm going to start with the nose peel. Oh, that's a little rough. And um, there's not like any black cuts or anything on it. I wish they would make a whole sheet mask just like this. Oh, that would be bomb. But it does feel like my pores are open. Let me see. Let me use my binocular side. No, that's the normal side. I can't tell. And... I got me a warm makeup towel, which I'm going to take this off with. The heating doesn't stay too long. It, it, it kind of goes away, but it does feel good. Oh, you can feel it through the whole process. You can feel it. Let me get this out of my nose. I don't want to make it look like I've got nose boogers, like gray nose boogers, like zombie nose boogers. Oh, it smells minty on the towel. Like minty? Oh, it smells good. I like it. That's probably why my face is tingling. It feels minty. It feels really, really good. I like this. I think I'll buy this. Because I don't buy many masks. But, anyways. Y'all go check out the other beauty ninjas and how they react to it because um, I like it. I definitely use this again. I'm gonna put on some moisturizer before I say goodbye. And I've been okay. Here's a moisture rich from Marilyn Norman, and this is gonna be on my empties soon. Got this for my mother. She's obsessed with Marilyn Norman. I'm obsessed with their lipsticks, but I haven't bought my own because um i don't know if i if i would spend 60 dollars on a lipstick or 40 dollars. i just don't know oh this feels so good but i use this just like a treat once in a while normally i go with this bitch right here from avon the cbd green goddess yeah about three times a week i'll use her Anyways, y'all, thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe. It's for free. And um, let me get my crap together, and I'll see y'all in the next one.